You checked them, right? Of course, boss. Put that shit away. Put it away. Johnny, you prick, open the fuck up! Dude, took you long enough. Freezing my fucking balls off. We're going to do it like this? So you're well fed. Yeah, you look like shit. She still make that eggplant parmesan she used to cook for your ma? Keep it up, you'll be as fat as her. Lay off my mother, you piece of shit, and keep a fucking name out of your mouth. Ain't my fault what happened. No, it is your fault, Frank. It's always your fault. Her life was your fault, just like all of this here. You know, if you'd have never stuck your dick in ma in the first place, we wouldn't be in this situation. But now Frankie fucks Dick Carmine. He's gotta go fucking every brawl with two legs all up and down Atlantic City. It's my fucking nature. It's your fucking nature. What are you, a goddamn mape in a zoo? A fucking tapeworm? Hey, you weren't straight with Lorraine, all right? I don't shit where I eat. Look, I don't know what you think you know, but... It's not what I think I know. It's what Silvio Bucchelli thinks he knows. You have any idea how many eyes he has on her? Look, Silvio must be getting played by someone. There's a fucking tape, Pops. Fucking videotape, with you and her on it, and it's being shown in half the joints across town. Oh, shit. Shit, yeah. Shit's right, Pops. More shit in a lifetime of shit that you could begin to comprehend. Every associate in Auto 5 family seen that shit. You couldn't just go cuck some asshole, nah. You had to cuck Silvio Bacchelli in front of his entire fucking family. They even got you wiping your meat off on his sweater. It was a nice sweater. On his fucking sweater, Pops? <laughs> Listen, it was side action. It was business. Business? Fucking business? It wasn't business. Not to Silvio, me, or anybody else. If it was just business, you think you would have sent your son down here for this work? This is personal, Frank. This is beyond personal. This is fuck you and your fucking ass personal. Look, I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to. I'm your father. I made you! You made shit! You made me quit medical school so that I could join this life! And you made Ma kill herself on dope! I never wanted this life for you. I sent you to college. I wanted you to be a doctor. You chose this, and she chose that. Well, what you did was, you put me in a bunch of fucking student debt. And then you ran off on Ma and got yourself thrown in prison. I did what I had to do when you weren't there to do it. I tried sending her money. I tried being there for her. I was a fucking kid, Pops! A fucking kid! I 
finally joined this life because it was the only door you left open for me. I did what I had to do. And I always respected you for that. Ah, keep it. Fuck your respect. You never respected anything or anyone. Hey, I did my bit honorably. Oh, Mr. Honorable over here. He did a 17-year stretch for a crime in which he did commit. Didn't snitch on anybody but yourself. You're a real fucking piece of work, Frank, you know that? Fuck you, John Boy. Fuck me? No. Fuck you, Frank. Fuck you! I never had a half as good as you. You think I lived in a big fucking house? You think I went to private school? Every day for breakfast, I ate my own fucking teeth because my old man beat me. He beat Grandma, too, and he put me to work when I was eight years old. I never had it as easy as you, you ungrateful little fucking prick. Father of the fucking year, Ward. Somebody bring this man a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> I gotta ask you, Frank. There's a million broads out here right for the taking. Why choose Silvio's old lady, huh? You fucking stupid? Or do you got some type of death wish or something? Man doesn't choose who he loves. Love? Seriously, Frankie, what the fuck do you know about love? You're breaking my fucking balls here! What, you don't think I could love a woman? I don't think you could love anybody. The fuck do you know? What the fuck do I know? I know that if you loved that broad, you would have stayed as far away from her as the east is to the west. You would have never stuck your dick in her. And if you would have had the urge, you would have cut it off with a knife and then cauterized your bleeding prick with a fucking blowtorch. You would have done anything other than fuck her. You have any idea what he's doing to her right now because of what you've done to her, huh? You think he's gonna stand for this shit? She's gonna die far worse than you are. She made her choices too. See that? That right there. What the fuck is that, huh? What kind of love is that? You never loved her. You used her, like everybody else in your fucking life. We all get used and flushed down the toilet with the rest of your discharge. We all do. Yeah, you should be so fucking lucky. See, you were never cut out for this life. Silvio should have sent Carlino. Let's talk more bang bang. What am I, your fucking therapist over here? Well, your hour's up. I'll pencil you in next week after your next hand job. I'll pencil you in after your mother. You always were the wise guy, hum pops, till you wasn't. Silvio send you here to cry my ass to sleep. Atta boy, Johnny. Now we're fucking talking. I didn't think you had the fucking stones. Let's see if you got a bit of the old man in you after all. Well, I got you in me, all right. You goddamn cocksucking old fool. I've been waiting on this day ever since we scraped her off the fucking sidewalk. But I never thought it would come. Yeah, and I never thought they'd pick up all the pieces. Ah! Do it, boy! Make Daddy proud! Fuck! Why, Dad, huh? Why do you hate me? Why did you hate Ma? Why do you put me in this fucking situation? You're fucking killing me! You're ripping my fucking heart out! First Ma, now you! You leave me here to clean up your fucking mess again! Grow the fuck up, John Boy. Life is pain. I may not have wanted this life for you, but if you're gonna be my son, you're sure as shit gonna be good at it. Daddy didn't raise no fucking pussy. Now man the fuck up. And do the job you came here to do! I can't kill my fucking father! I'll go straight to fucking hell! I'll end up in a fucking loony bin somewhere! This ain't fair! Life ain't fair, Johnny boy. Man the fuck up. Now boy, I know I gave you and your mom a hard time. I know I was a lousy father. I wasn't cut out for that shit. I never was. But I did what I did to make you tough. Please don't tell me I failed at the one thing I tried to make you good at. I can't, please. <laughs> now son, if you don't pull that trigger and I don't end up out of here in a barrel, you know good and well Silvio is gonna send somebody else and you'll be joining me in the river. Is that what you want? You love your daddy that much? I don't love you! I fucking hate you! Then fucking act like it! Johnny, it 
It's time to let it all go. Let me go. <laughs> Just can't fucking do it, Dad. Just can't fucking do it. You know you're a good boy, Johnny. Your mother was always so proud of you. And you're a lot like her, you know? And I'm cool with that. You didn't deserve this shit. Neither did she. You were right about me. This is my mess. And I'm gonna clean it up. Rest easy, Johnny boy. Tell Silvio the deed is done.